you are someone who cares about people. You're someone who works hard, wants the best for them, okay? We're going after relationships over transactions. Hey, what's up everybody? Ricky Carruth here. I just want to give you a couple of updates really quickly. And I haven't done a video like this staring right at you in a while. So that just tells you how busy I have been and the work that I'm putting in, doing podcasts, putting together deals, coaching calls. I'm just out here making it happen, trying to do the best I can do to provide the most value to you. I have to say the thing that I'm most excited about right now is my my kickoff of the Zero to Diamond Tour in Miami, June 30th. I made a post on Instagram and there were over 600 agents who registered for this event was just an Instagram post. So I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna put a thousand agents in that room. I haven't done any advertising or anything up to this point. So I'm about to start going hard there. We're good, we're more than 40 or 50 days away from that event. It's gonna be an incredible, event. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to get tickets. These tickets are absolutely free. I'm also working on Nashville for in July. I'm working on Dallas and Charleston for August, uh, Vegas later on in the year, Charlotte. And of course, I'm going to be in Orlando speaking at the Florida Association of Realtors National Conference. That's going to be August 26th. So I'm super excited to get back on tour, get back on stage and see you guys. I love getting out there, traveling, seeing you guys, hearing the stories, shaking hands, taking pictures, and all that good stuff. So I can't wait to see you guys at those events. I also want to give away a good 10, 15 signed copies of my book, List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. Just comment below uh, what city you're from, what market you're in, what brokerage you're with, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick 10 to 15 winners over the next 24 to 48 hours. I've got some really big names names coming up for the new podcast me and my partner Juan Carlos put together. It's called Road to 10,000 and my biggest guest coming up is Mr. Grant Cardone. That's going to be late May. We're going to record that episode but we've also had Glenn Sanford. We've had Brad Leon. We've had Tim Harris among many other incredible agents. So that's Road to 10,000. I'm posting those videos here on this channel so be sure to click subscribe, hit the bell, so you can get notified every time I do that. But I'm also on all the podcast platforms, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spotify, all those places. So I'm gonna also put a link below uh, to, to a place where you can go to your favorite podcast platform if you're not already following me on one of those podcast platforms. And if you're on iTunes, please go and give me a five-star review and let me know what I've done to help you in your business. What has my content done to help you in your business? And also, go ahead and comment below who you would like me to bring on that podcast. Who do you want to see me and Juan interview? I would love to know you guys' thoughts on, you know, what names you think we should reach out to. My personal business so far this year, my personal real estate business, guys, I'm still selling. I'm still single agent status with one assistant out here doing the thing. Uh, This will be year number eight with a hundred deals. Okay. I've done seven years in a row with a hundred deals per year. And I'm just excited to have built my business up to this point and to turn around and share every little piece of how I did it with you for free. But so far this year, I'm at 33 deals and 15 million. I'm right on par for where I normally am this time of year. And it's just exciting the way that I built my business up to this point where everything's automatic. Everything comes to me. I'm not chasing business. Business is chasing me and it allows me time to focus on my other businesses. For example, the coaching business and the personal brand that I have built, you know, it is amazing to know that there's going to be a thousand agents in Miami in one area that want to come see me speak and just the humbleness right it just makes me incredibly humble to know that that many people want to come see me speak it just it takes the words out of my mouth I don't even know what to say I'm speechless but it goes to show you what happens when you put work in and you do good things and just take what you've done in this world and turn around and share it with people people without trying to charge them and make money. Okay. Yes, I make money 
from my coaching program. I get paid to speak. I have books that I sell. I have sponsorship deals. Also, my real estate team. Outside of my single agent business, I have a real estate team that's nationwide where we just crossed 600 agents and we're doing more than 375 transactions a month for the last two months. That's a huge jump from not even maybe four or five months ago, we were just breaking 100 transactions per month. So I'm pushing there to, to get to 500 transactions per month and then 1,000, and I'm just gonna keep on going with that. But that's turned into something that's super successful and growing really fast, and I'm really excited to work directly with all the agents on my team. I also have some really big announcements coming up soon uh, for some things that I'm doing and some things that I wanna offer to you. So so, so again, be sure to click subscribe, hit the bell so you can get notified every time I post a video or have anything I wanna share with you. Okay, it felt really good to get all that off my chest and share all that with you guys because most of my videos, like I said, I'm not talking to you. It's more of clips from my podcast and my live coaching sessions and live cold calling sessions. So I'm gonna do some more videos like this, of course, sharing some strategies and uh, some, some different things. But today I wanna talk about the list listing presentation, right? And the listing appointment, what we do at the listing appointment, how we handle ourselves at the listing presentation. And the way that I do it is a lot different than anyone else. Let's just say any other coach, no other broker is gonna tell you to do it like this. But all I can do is share with you what works for me. I'm not telling you this is the way to do it. I'm not mad at you if you don't do it this way. That's not the point of my content. The point of my content is just for me to be able to share with you what I do, what works for me. You can take it and do what you want with it. If you take a little piece of it, if you take the whole thing, if you don't like it at all, at least, at least you looked at what I did and made that decision and moved on from there. So number one, when I show up to a list appointment, okay, what do I have with me? Okay, I don't have a listing presentation, a PowerPoint. I used to do that, I tried that. Guys, listen, I tried everything in real estate. There's nothing I didn't try. I tried every single thing that's out there, I've given it a shot, okay? I'm still testing things out. I tested out some Facebook ad stuff here just in the past Last month. I'm still testing things out as I move along here. I, I don't want to get left behind. And if there's something out there that's better than what I'm doing, I want to know about it. I want to incorporate it in what I'm doing. I'm not closed minded, right? I don't say that, I, again, I don't say that what I do is the only way and what I do is the best way. I don't say that at all. I never say that. What I say is, is this is how I do it. So when I show up, I don't have a PowerPoint. The times that I tried the PowerPoint presentation, you know, I'm going through it. I can see, I can, I can feel them over my shoulder, you know, looking at the PowerPoint. I'm going through this thing and I can tell that they are absolutely not interested in what I'm sharing with them. Slide by slide, telling them how I'm gonna market the property and what I'm gonna do and what I've done and this and that and the other. They don't care about any of that. They don't care about any of that at all, okay? What they care about is just a few things. Do we make them feel comfortable with us? Do they feel like we're gonna work hard and get the job done? Do they feel like that we have their best interest in mind? Those are the things that these sellers and these, these clients and, and the buyers as well, same thing for the buyers. That's what they want to know, okay? And so that's what we have to share with them. So we have to become really great at communicating these things to our prospects. We have to become really great at communication of who we really are because this is who we really are. We are people who, uh, if you're following me, you are are someone who cares about people. You're someone who works hard, wants the best for them, okay? We're going after relationships over transactions, okay? I know you guys have heard me say that because I literally have coined that phrase. I coined that phrase back in 2017. I was the first to bring that phrase to the market and it's, it's my core value and it's how I built my businesses. It's how I built my real estate business, my coaching business, my book sales, my speaking career, all the above is 
from building relationships over transactions. And you got to think this way. You got to walk into these listing appointments, number one, not expecting anything, right? Because you don't expect the listing. Now, a lot of people say you have to visualize getting the listing. You have to assume that you're getting this listing. I want to assume something, but it's not the listing. I want to assume the relationship. I want to walk in this, this situation knowing that when I leave, I have a new friend who is going to do business with me, okay, now or later, all right, when they decide it's time. Maybe you walk into a listing appointment and they're not ready to sell. You've got to pick up on this stuff and you've got to package your communication in a way that they feel like you're not just there to just try to get a listing today no matter what because you know trying to force them into a listing before they're ready can be very damaging to your career much less the relationship with that client when you do that and you have to get good at knowing when to push and when not to push remember 95 percent low pressure five percent high pressure but you got to know where to put that five percent when to stick it in there and go for it and it's going to be after you've made a strong connection you know why they want to sell when they want to sell and then you can kind of game plan with them of how this thing's going to go so when i show up to the property to do this listing appointment presentation whatever you want to call it i want to walk in and i just i want to create within the first couple seconds this this or this vibe of comfortableness that we're all just here trying to figure out what we can do to help and it's all good okay i'm not here to try to get you to sign anything today okay if that's what the next step is then let's do it and let's make it happen i'm ready to get to work let's make it happen but i want to create the situation of how's it going you know let's you know show me the house i'm going to put my folder down what i bring with me is a blank listing agreement comps on the property a gift card to a nice restaurant all in a folder with a ricky caruth pen okay that's what i like to do when I leave the presentation, whether the listing agreement was signed or not, I'm gonna give that entire package to them. They can have it. When I walk in, I wanna set that folder on the table, okay? And I wanna see the house. I want them to walk me through the property and tell me everything about why their house is the nicest house on the street. Everybody thinks their property is the nicest one on the street. Of course they do. It's their house. They spend a lot of time there. They have a lot of pride. I'm the same way with my house, okay? Uh, of course, I think mine actually is the nicest, <laughs> nicest house on the street, neither here nor there. You want to walk through and let them do all the talking. When you're talking to people, I want you to do the 80-20 rule. I want you to talk 20% of the time and listen 80% of the time. And out of the 20% of the time you're talking, I need you to do 80% of that needs to be asking questions. Okay? 80-20. We're only talking 20% of the time, listening 80%. And out of the 20% that we're talking, 80% of that is us asking questions not making statements and talking about ourselves. short statements, asking questions, trying to learn more about them. That's what this is all about. We're trying to collect data here. We're trying to collect data to figure out what we can do to help this person short and long term. Because as you make this connection, this connection is going to be worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career through repeat and referral and referral of referral. Okay, very important. And most people are trying to shove listing agreements down people's throats, um, which is a turnoff. They lose that relationship and those 10 to 20 deals. That's what you got to think about. So you got you to gotta just put yourself in as many of these situations as you possibly can to get better and better and better at, at how to handle, how know when to go for it, let's just say. The more situations you're in like this, the more listing appointments you go on, the, the more and more you're going to become a natural, you're going to become more comfortable and you're gonna know when to go for it. So after they show me the house, we're gonna basically have made a circle through the house and end up right back close to that table where I put my folder down. At that point, I wanna sit down and start talking to them about why they're selling and really get the backstory. This is where you're really gonna win this listing is when you get the backstory and you're listening and you're trying to relate and you're trying to figure out how you can help this person based on this backstory and why they want to sell. Once we understand that, then 
then we're going to open the folder and start going through the comps with them to try to establish price. Okay. And as we listen to the backstory, we're going to put together a game plan with them. We're going to establish the price. And then there we have everything right there in a package. We know why they're selling. We know what we all need to do together to make, get the job done and when we need to do it, what the timeline is. And we've went through the comps and established a price. And then at that point, it's up to the seller of kind of what they want to do. Right. And we may move forward right then. It just depends on why they want to sell and what the game plan is. That's how I handle my listing presentations. I make them very personable. I want to come in like I'm a, fa a friend or family member, really close friend or family member. And I want them to feel that because they are, they're an extended part of my family. And I want to do everything I can do to help them get the job done. So I hope that helps you with your listing presentations and helps you win more, more listings. If you don't like the way that I do it, I hope you at least picked up something out of it and incorporated something there and uh, that it that it really helps you take your your listing conversions to another level thanks for listening thanks for watching today um, reach out on instagram if you need anything at all i'm still answering all of those dms every single day and uh, we'll talk to you soon let's go